Should I rock this hairstyle? Should I rock this? I don't know. Looks it looks kind of good on me, I'm not gonna lie. It embraces the fact that I've had a shit year. So if you guys have been keeping up with anything that's been going on pretty much at all in the world, you'll know that the number one trend right now is blaming 2016 for absolutely everything and hoping that 2017 will not be nearly as bad. And I, you know, I've personally not really had too much reason to, you know, be that sort of person that's like, New Year's resolutions or that sort of thing or whatever. But I'm here to tell you why 2016 needs to Fuck right off. Apologies for the language. So if you guys haven't been keeping up with my life, basically, um, I moved out at November 5th, so it's been nearly two months since I moved out, and it's not been the most prettiest of times. I made a little timeline on Twitter I'm gonna read out. November 5th, I moved out. November 10th, Kara got sick. December 6th, our apartment flooded. December 19th, I got sick with a cold. December 25th, Christmas, Kara got sick, and now I'm sick again. 101 degree fever. Boys. That's why I have to excuse the fact that I absolutely look like crap right now. The reason I'm making this video is obviously to let you guys know that uh, I am sick as a dog right now. Now, I have gotten sick twice in the past, uh, you know, since I've moved out. The first one, I made apparent in a couple of videos or whatever, but it wasn't the worst illness in the world because I'm pretty sure it's just a common cold. This time, however, I'm more than certain that I actually have the flu or something of similarity. I did get a flu shot, which is the most ridiculous thing about it, but I got hit with a cold and then Kara a little while later got hit with a full flu like she had a fever she had like she was doing terrible man like it was really bad and I had to be there to take care of her now the problem with living in the same household as someone else who had got sick you have a very high likely chance that you're gonna get ill from them too just because of everything going on and I tell you we have been washing our hands like crazy we have been using disinfectant spray all over the goddamn house and I still managed to pick up this illness from her, at least I'm gonna assume, because I haven't been doing anything else that would have warranted this. She's actually still a little bit sick too. So the current moment, both of us are ill. I'm just getting hit with the start of it, I would assume, and I'm not looking forward to the next week. This video is to let you guys know that I am taking today to rest. There won't be any videos, and I feel, I just feel terrible, man, because I was just talking about how in the last few days or whatever, I've been able to get two, even a triple upload day a few days ago, I've been able to get a pretty decent amount of videos out and it, it's all been fantastic man I was like yeah it's finally picking back up and I can sit down and relax and worry about my own work and then this shit happens who did I piss off? And I, I normally wouldn't make a big deal out of all these things because I know that, you know, it's, it's not that big of a deal. Just get over it or whatever. Or don't upload and take a break and stuff. Today I'm taking a break. There won't be any other uploads today. I apologize. But I know that with this illness that I have right here, being on the computer is going to be the thing that I want to avoid the most. And I mostly just want to spend my time relaxing in bed, drinking vitamin C, drinking NyQuil, <laughs> drinking NyQuil, drinking DayQuil, drinking, I don't drink, you don't drink those things. I guess you have the liquid you do. But I just want to sit in bed and get vitamin C in my body and just not worry about work or anything. So I'm only uploading this right now to let you guys know that I am currently not well. I've never been a person for New Year's resolutions. I believe that if you want something, you're going to go and get it. And this is not really a New Year's resolution because that's typically a, an advancement of yourself and your own physical state and mind. I just want 2017 to not get me ill, okay? And if life is meant to what comes around goes around, I want to win the lottery, man. I want to win the lottery really badly, and I feel like I should. I feel like at this point that I should. I love you all, and I pray for a day very soon that when, you know, everything goes sunshine and rainbows, I'm able to upload two to three videos a day for at least a month at a time before anything going wrong. But I, I can't, I can't get over how terrible this entire thing has been. I love being on my own. I love this apartment. It's great. We actually had to uh, double check or what, well not double check, but we were told that from the leak or whatever that there was no mold in the apartment because for those that don't know, if you live in an apartment that has uh, mold in the walls, that can really make you ill and you, you'll never know basically. We were told that there was no mold in the apartment. I'm hoping it's true. I might actually get them up here a second time to make sure of that because as I'm, I assume that all of this is just from our own mess ups or whatever and we didn't get it from the apartment. I do just want to double check that because I did get told that on Twitter a couple times like, yo, check and see if you have any mold in your apartment. It's not a bad idea. Honestly, though, I just I, I hate complaining and I hate the fact that I put out so many update vlogs. I put out the three vlogs of my apartment getting fixed or whatever, which wasn't that bad. And then I put out the I'm sorry vlog where I think Kara got sick again and I was just apologizing for everything. And now I'm throwing this out that I'm sick again and my 2016 end of the year has been absolute crap. And I just feel really bad but I know it's just my anxiety talking. I know the number one response that I got from 
from my I'm sorry vlog was Brandon lighten the hell down You're a human being and you just need to get over it. And you know what? I'm a human being and I've lived in the same exact place in my life for uh, 18 years. No, sorry. Yeah, 18 years. I've lived in the same house same environment, everything, and I'm just now moving out close to the beach and everything, so my immune system is probably freaking out right now and dying inside and screaming. Uh, hopefully it can get used to things really quickly because I feel like this is the biggest kick to my immune system it could possibly get. But I love you guys and I apologize that just, oh God. I'm not having a I'm not having a good one. Uh, I've been enjoying Ark. I've been loving the hell out of it. I've been loving the money wars that I've been posting too. And Rocket League. Let's be honest. I, I love lo Rocket League. I really do. But the game tilts me a little bit. So I still love uploading. I really do. And I'm I'm enjoying the content that I'm posting right now. I wish I didn't have to make this vlog though, but I do. So I I'm sorry. I just want to let you guys out on the whim because I have not missed a single upload since October of 2014. It has been longer than 26 months. It has been two years and two months. I have not missed a single upload in a day PST time my own time zone and despite the fact that I will not get a video game video out This will make sure that I don't break it because honestly if I wasn't filming this I would have broken that so that's also kind of the reason I'm posting this is so I can have a free ticket for the day <laughs> Oh God, I love you all. Hopefully the end of your 2016 and the start of your 2017 is looking better than mine I hope that I get uh, a little bit better before that and you know what the funniest thing is too that I just realized that needs to click in my head I still need to get my wisdom teeth out. I've been postponing that since October Pixelmon I Said I was gonna get that out early January Which is a couple days from now I love my life. Thank you guys for being awesome. Thank you for uh, sticking around me during my hard times and hopefully uh, things will get better from today on forward and at least I hope this illness just isn't as bad as I think that it will be. So let's hope that it goes away in a day or two. Love you all. Again, I'm not asking for sympathy or anything. Take care. Have a great day. Ciao.